Hey guys, Grease Monkey 340 here. Come to a video about I want to try this for a while, and I finally pick one of these up for free. So why not try it? Is one of these old I don't know what they're called, like old scooters. I think it was like the 2000s. It has a flat tire, but all the other three is up. So and it has a electric motor. I looked at it already. It's a uh, 50 volt max uh, input is 50 volts so not the biggest but it's pretty good and yeah supposedly the control unit and the whole like the all the wiring inside here is all gone so so none of that works uh, tested make sure it, it doesn't work but yeah I got some batteries to throw in it some 12 volt uh, deep cycle batteries to test and then if that fails then uh, I'm gonna wor work on something else okay guys I tested some of it tested the motor with these two wires it works this control uh, I don't know what it's called uh, connected box it connects to down to there to there to like a 7 pin that not working for some reason and I tried getting any signal out of the hiss with the ohms and nothing. So that, all that stuff is pretty much gone. I did test this up here. It did some signal coming from here, the throttle, but none re for none reverse. So yeah. And this key, this key, this uh, key thing is definitely no signal coming out of that. So pretty rusty. So yeah. But my plan is for that now, slap it back together, maybe take off the battery stuff, and uh, maybe try some different type of batteries, if you know what I mean. And this is what I've been talking about. I got some Milwaukee 18 volt, 1.5 amp, and I got some uh, uh, Makita batteries too. So I'm thinking to uh, throw them in there and see how it works. With a, uh, I have a control out of a drill. I have it wired up quickly. So, I, I used to use it for testing the RC cars. But, today we're going to see if we hook it up and try to get this thing working. And I didn't know this whole back piece just, just, it just sits there. Once it clips into that clip. So, yeah. Okay, guys. It's a little bit janky. Got four wires running up and down. Two going to the uh, battery and two going to the motor. Got the trigger here. And the reverse is right here on the top. And got it running down to the battery. I'm just using a Milwaukee, uh, no, a uh, Makita battery right now. You have the plus on one side, negative on the other. And the motor ones, these are the motor ones, negative and plus. And I'm using the 14 gauge. I should be actually heavy duty, but I couldn't find any, so. Yeah. Got the tire pumped up, holding there right now. And if you squeeze the trigger, she goes. There's only 18 volts going to it right now. Normally, there should be 24. But yeah. Okay, let's try this out. Makita battery. Hooks up, hook up another 18 volts to make 36. A little bit more power than normal. So we're just gonna unplug that one for now. We're gonna go from positive to negative. Like that, and then uh, back to plug this back in. 
So let's put it back in the machine and let's try it. Okay. speed on this thing. I want to do wheelies all the time. Crazy. Into a small bridge around here. Yeah, I have shoes. I hook up this trailer and see how I can tow all the way forward. Put the original batteries back in. Some did no more lawnmower batteries. And yeah, it runs around pretty good. But yeah, those drill batteries got some kick to them. <laughs> 